you probably have seen. Uh, LDS scoreboard incorporates the ability to play a sound after um, a timer reach uh, a, a concrete value. Uh, let's have a look. If we go to the editor, we go to the timers and counters, here we have timers available, right? So each timer has the ability to select the buzz at end. This means that when this counter reaches the end, it will make the buzzer sound, the buzzer or the siren, right? So uh, we are talking about uh, this sound that, will, that uh, will be active when reaching the end of, uh, of a timer, right? So we can, uh, we can configure what will sound and how it will sound. Let's go to the application settings. And here we have the option of buzzer selection. We have the option to say they will be there will be no buzzer at all. You don't need it. For example, in a football match. You, but then you have three options at this moment. The sound system. This means it means that you connect the output of the PC that runs uh, the scoreboard to a high fidelity system, and the sound will play in that uh, high fidelity system. And if you click in these three buttons, you will configure it. Here you will choose what file do you want to play. For example, here we have included uh, a set of, uh, of six possible uh, solutions, right? Uh, for example, this buzzer. Let's select one uh, as a simple example. You could select any uh, Windows audio uh, format file, right? Any WAV file that you want. You can test it here, for example, right? You save it and you save it. And at this moment, when you click the ring buzzer or the timer reaches the end, you will have the sound uh, being, uh, being reproduced. But Sometimes you will need other options. For example, we have included the serial um, CH340 uh, relay control uh, system. What is this? This is a USB, a USB relay that you will connect to the computer and the relay on the other side will be connected to the 20 to the 240 volts uh, siren for example or to control a set of lights or both or whatever you want so the idea is that instead of playing a sound the system will turn on and turn off the relay right so let's configure it first the first thing is to open the configuration uh, window. Here we have to select the port to use. Now I have it in my hand, so I plug it into the PC. I make it refresh so that I can see what serial ports are now connected. I can see that I have the port 1 and the 3. I know it's the third, right? And I will say that it will be turn on during two seconds and uh, two uh, and two hundred um, during two thousand and two hundred milliseconds right so you can click here to test it and when you do it you see the the relay that is turned on and turned off during that time you save here you save here and then when you click the button, you see that the relay is turned on and turned off. This option is a simple option, but uh, maybe uh, you don't want uh, this option because you will have to connect 20, uh, 240 volts to the PC and you don't want it. Maybe you want uh, to connect this relay to another computer, a very simple computer, 
for example, a Raspberry Pi or a thing like that, uh, and just send a notification to that element, and that element is connected uh, to the two, uh, 200 volts. This way, you don't have risks with your uh, scoreboard PC, right? So this is uh, why we had another option: is an HTTP request. Select this, go to the configuration, and here what you are going to do is to make an HTTP request to some server that may be in your uh, in your local area network or not. Maybe you want to notify it to somewhere else. So here you have the URL to call, the method you want to use, a get or a post, and the parameters you want to insert. The parameters are inserted here. For example, uh, name is Pera and the session is one session number. For example, I'm just inventing it now. When you click on click to test, the, uh, the, the HTTP request will be executed. So you can easily test it with another computer uh, during the configuration phase. And that's all. And that's all for the buzzers today, for the sirens. Uh, I hope this is useful for you. I think it's a nice feature. Um, probably uh, it's the it's requested in most uh, professional competitions uh, installations. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope this has been useful for you. If you have any comments or suggestions please let me know. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye bye.